guys welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to making a simple video on how to cut and sew wrap skirts or wrapper skirts now this form of skirt is a skirt where you have like a combination of a wrapper and also a skirt so we have the gown version of this style and i'm going to also put up a video on how to achieve that also so if you're interested in learning how to achieve the gown style also go ahead and click on the notification bell so that you will get notifications once a video pop up so this wrap skirt or wrapper skirt is a skirt that you know it looks like a wrapper and it's also a skirt so this is what it basically looks like i don't know if you guys can see it but you'll be able to see it on the thumbnail better so you can see that this looks like a wrapper but you can see the side that it is a skirt so this is what we are going to achieve today this is it this, you can see that it looks like a wrapper but rather this is a skirt and then you have the wrapper effect at the front so this is what we are going to achieve and i'm also going to put up the tutorial for the gown aspect so in the course of this training if you have any question please drop it in the comment section and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your wrapper skirt? We have our waist measurements, hip measurements, and our skirt length. So let's go ahead now and calculate our measurements. Our waist measurements is 42. We have 42 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1. We have 13 inches. Our hip is 49. 49 plus 2 divided by 4 plus plus one we have 13.75 so for the waist we have 42 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2 plus 2 we have 13 inches now for the hip we have 49 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 13.75 now the reason why for our waist we have plus 2 and the hip we have plus 1 is because of the dart allowance so we both know that for your dart your dart is usually at the waist area and it doesn't get to your hip area now for the skirt length we have 38 inches we'll go ahead now and add two inches we have 40 inches so these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your wrap skirt don't forget to join us on facebook to the designs on instagram to the designs and also visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below you can also join us for training trainings are available both online training and physical training and i'm going to put down the details in the description box now for your wrap skirt another thing you also need to take note of is the number of inches you are going to use for your wrap skirt that is for the front part where you are going to wrap now note that the number of inches you add to your front measurement totally depends on where you want your wrap to get up to let me repeat myself again the number of inches you want for the wrap area of your skirt totally depends on how long or where you want your wrap to get up to so i'm going to explain that in detail when we get to the cutting part of this tutorial so now let's now we want to cut out our wrap skirt now the first thing we are going to do is to go ahead and mark our basic measurements okay so we have waist to upper hip six inches waist to lower hip eight inches waist to knee length 18 inches and then we have our skirt length so i will go ahead now and connect these lines together go ahead and mark your dart measurement which is four and a half now on the upper hip you go ahead and mark four and a half inches you connect the lines together on the waistline you will go ahead and mark half inch on both sides go ahead and connect the lines together 
Once you are done with that, the next thing you will need to do now is to go ahead and mark your waist measurement, which is 13 inches. Your hip measurement, now you mark your hip on your lower hip, which is 13.75. Now, the number of inches you deduct, you can basically deduct from 1 inch to 2 inches. It just depends on how pencil you want it to be. So, I'm going to go ahead and deduct 1 and half. So you mark that. So we have 13.75 minus one and a half. I'll go ahead and mark that on my gown length. So I'll go ahead now and cut my skirt length rather. I'll go ahead now and connect it to my hip line. And I'll connect my waistline to my hip line. So it's actually basically very simple. So this is what we are going to have now. So the next thing I'll do now is to go ahead and cut this out. Cutting it out, this is what you are going to have. So the next thing now we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark. Is to go ahead and mark our back block, our zip allowance, which is two inches. We'll go ahead and connect the lines together. The next thing you're going to do now is to go ahead and mark your dart measurements, which is 4.5. On your upper hip, you also mark your dart line. Go ahead and connect the lines together. On your waistline, mark half inch on both sides. Connect it to your upper hip. Now you go ahead and mark your measurement. So our waist measurement is 13 inches. Our hip measurement is 13.75. Now we deducted one and a half inches for the front block. So you also go ahead now and do the same for your back block. You go ahead now and connect the lines together. It's actually very easy to achieve your wrap skirt. Then you connect your hip line to your waistline. So once you are done, this is what you are going to have. So the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and cut this out. The next thing I'm going to do now is to go ahead and fold my fabric into two. After folding it into two, I'll place my pattern on it, my front pattern, and then I'll cut this out. After cutting it out, I'm going to have a single piece this way. And this fabric is so cute, guys! So, fabrics are available at our store, okay, both in wholesale and in retail prices, and this print is also part of our fabric. So, if you're interested in having this fabric, Check out the number below in the description box and then you can place your back block also. We've gone ahead to fold our fabric into two. We'll place our pattern and then we'll cut this out. After cutting it out for the back block, we are going to have two pieces because of... We are going to have two pieces because of the zip allowance. So we'll go ahead now and set this aside. In order for us to get our wrapper which is going to serve as the hero what we are going to do now to determine how many inches of fabric we need is we are going to add our front block what we have for our front block and up to our dart line for the back block up to the dart line for the back block because i want my hero or the wrapper to stop somewhere around the dart line for the back block so this is my front block now and then our dart line for the back block stops around this part because I want it to get to that point. So if you want yours to get to the zip area of your back block, go ahead and measure it up to the zip area. If you want your wrap 
to just stop at your front block alone then just go ahead and make use of what you have for the front block so where you want your wrap to get up to totally depends on you and then you go ahead and measure what you have there so whatever you have there is what you are going to use for the length of your wrapper so my front block now is 25 inches and we want it to get up to the dart line which is 5 inches so we have 30 inches plus 2 inches for our sewing allowance, we have 32 inches. So for the wideness of our wrapper now, I'm going to make it of 32 inches. And for the length of the wrapper, is basically the length of our skirt length, which is 45 inches. To cut out our wrapper, you can see what we have for the width of our wrapper. And for the length, we basically have our skirt length so the next thing we are going to do now is to cut out our lining and then i'll show you guys how to stitch the skirt now i've gone ahead to cut out my lining so it's actually very easy to achieve and when you are cutting your lining make sure that your lining is shorter than your fabric okay it just makes it you know look more neat and all of that so your lining will be shorter than your fabric with let's say one to two inches it depends on the allowance you kept so what i'm going to do now basically is i'm going to go ahead and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and stitch the lower side I'll stitch the sides, but I'm going to leave about three to five inches because I'm going to turn it out from there and then I'll go ahead and stitch the upper side also. The back block too, I've also gone ahead to cut out the lining for the back block also. And also for the lining of the back block too, your lining should be shorter than your main fabric with about one to two inches, depends on the allowance you kept. So I also place my lining this way, stitch the lower side first and then I'll go ahead and stitch the sides and the upper side. So once I'm done turning them with the lining, I'll show you guys what it is. Now, we've gone ahead now to turn it with our lining and you can see what we have here because the lining is shorter than the fabric. So guys, the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead and couple the back block together to do is you determine how many inches long you want for your slit for the back block you have to have your slit and the slit is usually high somewhere around your knee area so from our shoulder our waist rather from our waist to from our waist to knee we have 18 inches so I'm going to leave this part where we have 18 inches for our slit. You can go ahead and increase it or reduce it. It depends on where you want your slit to get up to. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to mark 7 inches for my zip because we are going to be fixing zip at the back block. So we'll go ahead and mark 7 inches for the zip. So basically we are only going to be stitching from this part to this part then you go ahead and fixing your zip so this is what we have once you are done with that you are going to have a single piece for your back block this block now you have one single piece you've also turned this with lining making sure that you know the lining is properly turned so the next thing you have to do now is to fix in the wrapper or the hero go ahead and decide where you want your hero to fall Go ahead and decide where you want your hero to fall. So this is our hero now. This is the front block. We'll go ahead now and place it this way. Go ahead now and place it this way. You've coupled your back block, right? You've placed your hero on the front block this way. What you're going to do now is to go ahead and place your back block on it. Place your back block on it. Use your waist measurement, hip measurement to couple this up so once i'm done with that i'll show you guys what it looks like and what our hero turned out Going ahead now to couple it up now this is what we have you can see the pencil skirt at this part and for the wrap or the hero part of the skirt we only went ahead to attach it to one side can you see it we only attached it to one side of our skirt and then we have it coming this way so you just go ahead now and fix in like a belt or a long piece at this part so that you'll be able to tie it at the back so you can see 
the wrap coming out this way so you just take it this way now across your skirt just take it this way you can see where our skirt ends you can see the front block where the front block of our skirt ends and because we added inches to it so that it can overlay at the back block and this is what I meant by the number of inches you add to this part after your front block totally depends on how much it will overlay to the back area. So for this now is around somewhere around the zip area at the back block, right? So this is what we have. This is what we have for the front block. Now for the back. For the back, this is what we are going to have. You can see our slit, which is opened at this part for ease movement. And this is the extra piece of our wrap coming to the back, which will fall this way. Okay? Which will fall this way. Which will fall this way. You can see the extra wrap coming to the back block, which will fall this way. And then you go ahead and attach your belt and also attach another belt at this edge so that you'll be able to tie it properly so i'll go ahead now and put it on the mannequin and show you guys what it looks like so for the lower block now basically this is what you are going to have properly turned in with your lining you can see now let's go ahead now and fix this on the mannequin so guys this is what we have for the wrapping skirt you can see what it looks like so you just go ahead now and wrap this part of the skirt to it and then we have a matching peplum key splitting top and i have a tutorial on this top i'm going to go ahead and put it in the description box below if you're interested in learning how to make this top in order for you to rock it with your wrap skirt go ahead and watch the video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe let me know if you have any question in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on i'll see you guys in my next one bye